Hey, good morning, guys. I was just thinking about um, just I was on the drive home, well, on the way to. I'm on my drive to work, and I was thinking about the video that I just did this morning um, about us, you know, being saved versus those that are unsaved, and God's perspective on it. And I was thinking about the awkwardness of how I've been doing these videos, and I know that the video, as I can, I mean, I'm just starting out, so it's kind of awkward, and, and you know, pretty much it's awkward when you start anything off, usually. Um, I, well, maybe that's not necessarily true for everybody, but for me it is. It's, it's a little awkward starting off with these videos. And I was thinking, you know, as I continue to do these videos, I'm going to get more and more comfortable. I'm going to find how I do these videos, how God wants me to reveal some of these truths that he's been teaching me throughout these years as a Christian. Um, how to empower and, and uh, uh, the, the body of Christ and keep them going uh, and, and encourage them. And I was thinking about how difficult it was this morning as far as what to share what to what to talk about and I was just you know considering those things and why it was difficult and and I had to stop for a moment and consider what what does God say about it and this is what I'm getting at so often we find ourselves being tempted to think that because I'm doing something for God and it looks like it's difficult to do it that I'm doing it according to the flesh. Let me ask you a question. When does your flesh ever want to do something for God? Like really, when does your flesh ever want to do something for God? In fact, the carnal mind, which is in the fleshly nature, is at enmity against God. So it's, it's at war against God. So why would the flesh want to do something for God? Now, let me before I continue, let me let me let me clarify. It is very possible to want to do something uh, for God, I think, to receive vain glory. I mean, Jesus talked about that with the Pharisees. He talked about, you know, uh, don't don't let your alms be seen before men. It, that, but that was a heart thing. That was something that you knew within yourself. But what about us as Christians who who are really endeavoring to step out and do what we believe God is telling us to do. Is it possible it's going to be difficult to start when we start doing those things? Yeah, it is. And I think it's because we are growing in understanding how to yield these members as instruments of righteousness. It's the Spirit of God that makes alive our mortal body. And the spirit lusts against the flesh. Now, the spirit's overpower, it can overpower the flesh because we are spirit beings. We're no longer flesh. It says, it's no longer I that lives, but Christ who lives in me. And, and it's basically who lives through me. So when you're doing something for God and it looks difficult, and maybe even doesn't even seem to come to, to fruition, we always default and say, well, that wasn't God. Or maybe uh, God was, that was, maybe that was just me. But how do we know it was just you? Why would why would your flesh want to put something in your heart to do something to be a glory to God and to Jesus Christ? That's that's bonkers to me. So I just want to encourage you when you're going out and you're stumbling through being a blessing to people, when you're going out and you're stumbling through loving people without seeking anything in return, and it looks awkward and it feels awkward, I'm telling you, don't don't be deceived into thinking that that was your flesh because your flesh does not want to give glory to God I mean how often do we find ourselves sitting in church listening to music and worshiping God and we just stand there we don't want to do anything and we and yeah we have the excuse oh well I don't need to do anything to, to, to prove myself to God but I'll tell you your spirit is worshiping and glorifying God all over the place and uh, just because your flesh doesn't isn't doing it, that doesn't mean that you really aren't doing it in, in who you are in Christ. But we want to have our flesh be instruments of righteousness and uh, and give glory to God in, in, in our 
hearts and in our in our minds. I love it because Jesus says, "Love God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength." There's nothing missing in that. There's nothing missing in that. So. You're loving God with your very being and everything that he's created you to be. So go out, be a blessing. If it looks awkward, if it feels awkward, it's because you're working through submitting your flesh to the spirit. And it's not you working according to the flesh. It's not you striving into the flesh. It's, it's you actually striving to enter into rest into who you guys are. So I love you. Be encouraged. Know that you are everything that God says you are and nothing that God says you aren't. So I love you and um, we'll talk soon. Bless you guys.